is actually a new thing, pretty new thing for me. Um, here's how that happened. I've not, never played anything with guitar and plant piano my whole life, and um, my daughter, who's have I said anything about her yet? I don't think so. She's almost ten, and she's a huge Beatles fan. Good girl. <laughs> so and so are my husband and me, and uh, we decided to go to spend a zillion dollars and see Paul McCartney play at Yankee Stadium last year. And it was totally, totally worth it. I'll never forget. I mean, the three of us ne will never forget that concert. Anyway, so he's a brilliant musician, and he played like 10 different instruments. And one of them was mandolin. Now, here's the thing. My friend Duke Levine, great guitar player and mandolin player, and he also plays a lot of other things, and has played on my last two CDs, I guess he had an extra mandolin. I never really asked him. He just, a few years ago, he said, hey, do you want this? And he handed me an old mandolin. I said, sure. And I, what did I do with it? I handed it to my daughter and said, here, you can have this. Never touched it. And after this concert, I literally woke up the next morning and said to myself, for God's sake, Lucy, you can learn three chords. <laughs> went on YouTube, uh, maybe you can learn anything on YouTube, uh, and learn three chords, and it's amazing what you can do with three chords. So I had the beginnings of a song, and then, bam, like, playing the mandolin just totally inspired me, and then my husband and I finished it, and, um, so I want to tell you the story of how this song, where this song came from. So my dad um, was from Toronto. I actually grew up in Chicago, but um, he was born and raised in Toronto. His parents immigrated from Poland, and his mother, with absolutely nothing, um, started a bakery that turned into a very successful bakery chain over the years called Health Bread Bakery. And the whole family worked in the bakery. My father had three older siblings, and they worked, and the spouses worked, and then their kids worked, everybody worked in the bakery. It was the family business, including my dad. And then when my dad um, finished college, he had the opportunity to go study math in the US. He was a very gifted math student. And he left, and he never went back. And he was the only one who ever left. So I have a zillion cousins in Toronto, and I played a gig last year, and they all came. Aww. Which was really, really wonderful. wonderful. And um, not a lot of other people came, but my cousins came. <laughs> and we got to have dinner, it was a restaurant, it was like a lot like this. Not as nice, but I shouldn't say that. This is a really great place, that was a nice yeah. place. <laughs> So we have to have dinner and catch up and take pictures and um, so then I did my show and I was introducing the encore and I realized all of a sudden, hadn't really thought about it before, that the last of my father's generation had just gone. My mother and two of my aunts, who were the mothers of people in that room that night. and the, we were all there together, a room full of orphans. And it was a moment I'll never forget. And I don't think they will either. And this song was born. Mm -hmm. 